Our next speaker is Professor Inoue, who comes to us from Japan. And most, if not all of you, know that Professor Inoue is credited with the <clears throat> development and the or origins of the poem procedure. And while his name will always be associated with the development of this technique, I think probably the legacy for those of us, at least of this generation, will actually be even more so about his generosity as a teacher. He has not only been a pioneer and creative, but he has been incredibly generous with his knowledge, his skills, and his time in educating surgeons from all over the world. And most of the people in the United States who are considered to be the leaders in this technique have gone and spent time with Professor Inoue. And so it's a great honor to hear not only what has been accomplished, what he's learned from this, but also to thank him for his generosity in teaching us what, what he developed. Thank you, Professor Inoue. So thank you, thank you, Chairperson. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great honor to be invited to uh, this uh, session. So I will talk about the, um, a way uh, to uh, establish the poem and the related procedures. So um, first, I would like to talk about the uh, acaracia. Um, the treatment is a part or endoscopic myotomy. And then after that, I'd like to mention about the gastric poem uh, for gastric paralysis. And then third, I would like to talk about the uh, one of the offshoot of the uh, poem procedure. Um, it's uh, also called a star. At the same time, so a Chinese guy um, reported. So uh, both name is acceptable. So, um, acarasia, treatment of the acarasia, surgical treatment of acarasia was uh, reported um, Dr. Ernest Heller, uh, he's from Leipzig, uh, that was uh, 1913. So, so, after that, so everybody do a Heller myotomy as a surgeon, and the um, end of the year 20th century, um, lots of uh, innovation happened. So uh, one of the laparoscopic myotomy and the other one is a tracoscopic myotomy. And the beginning of the 20th century, um, everybody knows the uh, notes. Um, everybody tried to find some new procedures as a minimally invasive treatment. Um, uh, Chris Gustaut, uh, Mayo Clinic, and uh, Dr. Sumiyama, so they reported um, usefulness of a mucosal flap bulb. And uh, this is the most important paper. Um, Jay Pashuricher, um, he's uh, Johns Hopkins, uh, he reported the possibility of uh, endoscopic uh, submucosal myotomy using pulsing model. So honestly speaking, so just I led found this article, I think we can do this in a human. So procedure is like this, uh, some refinement. Uh, middle part of the esophagus, uh, we get in a submucosal space and then create a submucosal tunnel. After creating submucosal working space, we are coming back to a proximal and then started to do a myotomy. So, most importantly, the total dissection of the lower esophageal sphincter. And then, uh, after confirmation of the total hemostasis, we close the mucosal entry using clips. So, this is actual video clip. First, the injection. So, I myself, esophageal surgeon. I myself, esophageal surgeon. And I do routinely esophagectomy still now, and then uh, laparoscopic uh, uh, helado. Uh, quite often I did it. But fortunately, I also like to do flexible endoscopy treatment, so uh, like a ESD. So put a two centimeter longitudinal incision after injection into submucosal layer and then get in a submucosal space. This is an anti myotomy. We can see a surface of the circular muscle and then dissect the submucosal fibers. And then step by step, create a submucosal tunnel. This is the distal end of the uh, tunnel. 
uh, we can recognize the uh, spindle veins. So large uh, spindle-shaped vein is a very, very characteristic to the gastric cardia. So we can recognize uh, a tunnel already reached to the uh, gastric side. So after creating submucosal working space, uh, we started to do the myotomy. So now uh, we cut the uh, circular muscle, inner circular, and then uh, behind the cut end, we can recognize a longitudinal, very thin longitudinal muscle. And the most advantage of the endoscopic approach in the during procedure, we can evaluate the condition of the GE junction. Before treatment, junction was very tight, but after procedure, so junction is open. So we can confirm the patient can eat well. So after that confirmation of hemostasis, we close the mucosal entry using uh, CRIPS. So um, a way to poem in a human case, so I think technically possible because I'm surgeon, but I do routinely flexible endoscope. So um, I, I think like that, creating submucosal tunnel, uh, the uh, application of a ESD technique, endoscopic submucosal dissection technique, so we can do it. And the myotomy is the uh, same to ESD, and the same to surgical myotomy. And the mucosal closure is uh, the CRIP, so very simple. But we have some uh, unsolved problems. So I'm most uh, afraid is a wide area mucosal necrosis. I'm so afraid in the first case. Might happen, might happen in more than 10 centimeter submucosal tunnel. Nobody, nobody creates such a long submucosal tunnel in a GI tract. So I'm so afraid. But, but anyway, let's try. And then uh, uh, next day of the procedure, I, I, I do endoscopy and check the mucosal condition. The other one is a mediastinal infection and a leakage may happen even when we use a CRIPS. But I think um, I'm a esophageal surgeon, so not always, but sometimes um, make a leakage of it. So it's, it goes mediastinum. But as long as, uh, as long as we keep the patient fasting, no problem, no problem. So, so this procedure is uh, safe, I think. So after approval from the uh, uh, ILB approval from our university, so world first clinical case of poem was done uh, September 8th, 2008. And that was eight years ago. Anterior myotomy, operating time uh, to almost two hours. Uh, this is a photo of the third case of a poem. So far, in our hospital, uh, 1,370 cases of poem were done uh, during the eight years. So we uh, summarize our data at the time of uh, 500 cases to American College of Surgeons. Uh, now the indications of, of the poem is uh, all achalasia and also uh, other motility disorders, uh, diffuse spasm, nuts cracker, hypertensive areas, and uh, jackhammer. So this is a summary at the time of uh, uh, thousand. So youngest is a three, and the senior is a 89. Uh, success rate is the, um, um, based on our symptom score. 95% and more. A patient receives uh, some previous treatment, balloon dilation, buttocks, and a previous surgery, but uh, any kind, POEM can accept any kind of uh, previous treatment. We can do it. So fortunately, so far, we encounter no major complication. So major means a Clavian, Dindor, 3V, and more. We never but some minor complications. All of them controlled by the conservative treatment. 
A GERD after poem is a 35% uh, has a mild GERD symptom, but it's an easy control uh, by PPI prescription. And only one patient receives the uh, anti-reflux mucosectomy after poem procedure, only one. A repeated poem, second poem is at a 3%. So they want to um, getting much better, so receives a second or one patient receives third procedure. Uh, this is the uh, length of myotomy based on a Chicago classification of a version three, but looks very complicated. So from the uh, poem point of view, we can classify the um, length of myotomy like this, Chicago type one, and uh, we can focus in only on to the LES. In the case of a vigorous sarcoidia, we extend, uh, we, we have to put the extend myotomy, body, and the LES. And the diffuse spasm, so it's not necessary to cut the LES. So this is a classical sarcoidia, we can cut, we can focus only on to LES. And the vigorous sarcoidia, we have to dissect uh, much longer. This is a very typical case of a vigorous acarasia. You can see uh, lots of uh, abnormal contractions. This one is also abnormal contraction, not LES. So after this, after this uh, very, very tight junction is coming, like this. This is LES, very tight. So in those cases, uh, we have to put the very long myotomy. In this case, uh, we put a 23 centimeter myotomy starting from the uh, uh, neck of the patient. So this kind of a very long myotomy, it's uh, not so difficult uh, by poem, but maybe uh, difficult even when we combine the tracoscopic and laparoscopic approach, more difficult. Anyway, so right after uh, myotomy, we close the mucosal entry, and then already the abnormal contractions are gone, enough lumen, and the G junction is open like this. So this is a, our so worst case. So very dilated es esophagus, looks the stomach, but the esophagus. So this patient, after lavage of the esophagus, uh, we try to perform poem. Used to be this kind of patient, uh, we perform the esophagectomy, but benign disease, so we have to do um, minimally invasive surgery, and then cut the muscle, and then finally we dissect the whole the uh, uh, LES. And so in those cases, uh, recognition, identification of the lower esophageal sphincter muscle is very difficult. So uh, this is the idea of the Spanish doctor. So put the two scopes, one scope in the baby scope in the stomach and the retroflex, like this. Baby scope in the retroflex from the stomach and then we can recognize the uh, submucosal endoscope, uh, tip of the submucosal endoscope already reached to the gastric cardia. So, so myotomy was done perfectly. So this is the case. So seven days after treatment, um, started already regular diet, but uh, esophagus not dilated. Three months after procedure, uh, junction is open, a little bit erosion, but uh, fortunately, uh, uh, symptom score improved quite nice and again, 10 kilogram. One year later, good, still keeps a good condition. This is another good sample. Um, barium swallow looks normal, but after swallow, we can see some abnormal contractions of the esophageal body. This is a case of a jackhammer esophagus, like this. Maybe United States, you have lots. So. This, uh, this kind of patient's uh, muscle layer is actually very thick. 
So we can dissect uh, using a TT knife like this. But in this case, uh, we can preserve the uh, lower esophageal sphincter. We can preserve it. Uh, this case uh, also um, symptom score improved very nicely. Okay. Ah, this is a very nice photo. Um, 2012 in a Sages, uh, San Diego, uh, I have the uh, very nice opportunity to hold the hands-on course of the poem. This is the uh, chairman's very nice moment. So one of the application of the poem is the uh, gastric paresis. So maybe, um, as far as I know, um, uh, Mu and Kashab and me uh, did their maybe the first case uh, of the G poem. We did it uh, uh, Johns Hopkins. This is a Japanese patient. Ja in Japan, in Japan, the gastric paresis is a very rare disease, but this is a case. So peeling didn't open even when we try to uh, push the endoscope. So, um, Greater curve side, three centimeter proximal from the uh, pyloris ring, we started to create a submucosal tunnel. Now uh, we dissected the muscle layer. Uh, you can see a uh, both side, the cut end of the very thick py pyloris, pyloris muscle. And uh, this is uh, very important. So muscle layer is a promptly becomes a very thin layer in the center of the image. So that, that is the duodenal muscle layer. So we can stop the myotomy. The, in this case also, we do a double scope. One scope in a submucosal space, and another scope is the uh, pyloris ring. So this is mother scope, and the submucosal baby scope, we can see the right, right of the uh, submucosal endoscope. And then also a junction is open already like this. Ah. So we uh, often have the uh, poem arms conference. Uh, okay, last is the offshoot of the poem. Uh, we call par oral endoscopic tumor resection. This is the uh, same to star. Uh, Chinese guy and we at the same time reported, so uh, you can use uh, uh, both. So this is a case, um, lyomyoma of the esophagus and uh, connecting to the uh, proper muscle layer. And then uh, located at the uh, trachea and the descending altar. Tumor is like this, so same to poem. Uh, mucosal incision two centimeter, getting a submucosal space, and we can see a tumor like this, and then isolating the tumor from the muscle layer. And then we can uh, take out the uh, lyomyoma through the patient mouse. <coughs> but after that, so we can see a big defect of the muscle of the esophagus. So in this case, we can recognize the uh, trachea. Uh, so so all in this room, a surgeon, nobody supplies, but the gastroenterologist supplies a lot. But anyway, so we preserve the uh, mucosal layer totally. So at the end of the procedure, just close the mucosal entry using clips. So in conclusion, chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, um, through our submucosal tunnel, we can approach to the muscle layer and then uh, endoscopic interventions, poem, G poem, and the poet were, I think, personally think, uh, they established. Poem is now considered as a standard treatment for esophageal achalasia and the related disease. Poet is uh, regarded as an alternative treatment for SMT in the esophagus and cardiac. Thank you very much for your kind attention.